Hello! I'm in my bed today because I'm tired and I know you're not supposed to have any electronic devices in bed, it's supposed to be just for sleeping, but I need to make a video, so hooray! Today's video is a question and answer video. I'm answering a question from one of my viewers, Glenn, who asked me a very meta question. He asked, what is most interesting to you? thinking about which celebrity you'd like to be friends with, which celebrity you'd like to have sex with, or which celebrity you'd like to trade places with. And for me, I actually have quite a strong opinion on this. I think that the question of which celebrity you would want to be friends with is by far the most interesting question of the three. And probably because it's something that I used to think about a lot, especially in my early days on YouTube. I started making YouTube videos in 2011. I had a different channel back then, but anyway, I was 16 years old and I just sort of found the YouTube community. I'd found a Charlie McDonnell video, just sort of in the related videos section, and then my cousin recommended Vi Hart to me, and that was awesome. And then sort of eventually I found uh, the Vlog Brothers, who were kind of the hub of uh, a bunch of different YouTubers that I liked. Anyway, I started making YouTube videos because I had some ideas for videos I wanted to make, but there was always sort of a fantasy there that like I might get really popular and then I could hang out with Charlie McDonald and like go to his house in London and uh, Maybe the Vlog Brothers would like hire me to do a series on Crash Course, or um, you know, Vi Hart uh, would would bring me into the fold of her research group. And uh, you know, I, I'm in my twenties. Most of these people are are not old. Uh, there is still a chance that I could meet any of these YouTubers and become friends with them, but the chances are not too strong. Um, and I kind of uh, now have resigned myself to that fact. Um, but it's still interesting to me. Like, I am interested in who uh, John and Hank Green are as people, you know. Like, I, I listen to their podcast, Dear Hank and John, and recently I was listening to um, Catherine and Hank's podcast, uh, Delete This, which is very much about their personal life, and I am not one to think very much about the personal lives of most celebrities, so it was kind of interesting to me, like, why am I so, so interested in Catherine and Hank? Why can't I just like Hank's videos, you know, without uh, caring too much about the, his personal life? And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, people talk about their personal lives on YouTube, so I think you start caring a lot about them um, from watching their videos. I know I do. Um, and second of all, I think that I really enjoy kind of listening to the perspectives of well-adjusted adults who are slightly older than me because I'm 23, I, you know, my adult life is just starting, and I just kind of enjoy um, hearing about positive ways that people have adjusted to adulthood and uh, kind of uh, uh, modeling myself after <laughs> what I see from, from uh, people I admire, even if those people I admire are people I don't know from the internet. So, those are my thoughts on uh, befriending celebrities, in particular befriending YouTube celebrities. Who I want to have sex with? Eh, it's less interesting. I, my sexuality doesn't work in the same way that I think a lot of people's does. I'm not immediately attracted to someone just by looking at them. Well, I am sometimes, but I'm more attracted by, you know, forming an emotional connection with somebody. I think I talked about that in a video recently. Um, and the third option, oh yeah, trading places with a celebrity. Like, it would be cool to, you know, 
be John Green, for example, like, <laughs> you know, he he's written a lot of really great books, and I'm sure he has a really interesting mind, but, like, the way I think about it is, you know, we all love John Green's videos, but the one person who doesn't get to watch John Green's videos is John Green. He has to make them and, like, fuss over them and, you know, critique himself all the time, and it just seems like it would not be fun for me <laughs> to be the person whose work I admire. I, you know, the part of admiring something is being at a certain distance from it. So trading places with a celebrity is not as interesting to me as thinking about who I'd like to be friends with. Anyway, those are just my thoughts, and I hope that you were all well, and I am gonna eat a chocolate bunny, and I'll see you tomorrow.